A very good evening to all of you. And for a change, I'm not a, neither a cardiologist nor a cardiothoracic surgeon. But I think you get the best support when you are outside the system. So before I start, let me put my regards to one of the chairpersons who is sitting on the dais, Professor Kothari. Long back, I was thinking about can neonatology be taken to a district? At that time, neonatology was a very elitist subject with all kinds of designs, small babies, etc. And the first unit was brought in Purulia, sick newborn care unit. So since I had studied at Ames, I met Sir at the gate. And I still remember he said, this will become a very successful program. And today, uh, seeing him, I must thank that though he didn't belong to the pediatric score area, his prediction is so true that today this country has a sick newborn care unit in every district starting from Kanyakumari to Kashmir, wherever you go, this one thing is there. So now newborns are surviving. The problem is, now comes our problem. If a newborn has to survive congenital heart disease and critical congenital heart disease is a very important factor. There are n number of articles written by very eminent people regarding the problems when we were a students, we used to hear the story of 10 kilos. Let the 10 kilo become and then you get operated. Unfortunately, the child will never become 10 kilos. So it was never. I'm at Ames Jodhpur, professor and head of neonatology. Still, I'm facing the same problem. Every day, there are two, three children who are at least diagnosed by an echo that they have a either complex congenital heart disease or congenital heart disease, but where to send, how to get it operated, that becomes. So with this, I suddenly realized with my age that when you see a child with a critical congenital heart disease from a public health point of view, as a surgeon and a cardiologist, we are all interested have we been able to correct the problem for which the child came to me? Full stop. But from a public health point of view, think about the mother. The mother is interested that the child must go to a normal school. The child must become one. He should achieve his best genetic potential. Now that is where the challenge comes in. Operation to bhoat achcha ho gaya. Uske baad kya hua? The child is not going to the proper school. So when we were designing a program, we had to think that whereas CCHD or congenital heart disease, depending upon what rate you would put 5 to 10 per thousand, almost 1%. There's a critical ones which can die within one year. The problem is don't see the heart alone. See the whole child, but how to assure that? So, if you see the adult cardiology, the way it grew up, the same point of time, pediatric cardiology did not keep pace with it. Now, India is a big country of 1.4 billion. We have enough cases. And uh, you have neither the number of doctors, nor the surgeons, nor the whole setup, but which comes first in a public health approach. So I think the public health approach should be that first, the government of the day should make up its mind that this is my liability. This is not the parent's liability alone. This is a citizen of this country. And he has a right to take achieve his full genetic potential. So this multidisciplinary integrated approach now, it was very difficult for a pediatrician to enter into an area. And this is not one area. As I said that the child has to be seen in various areas. You have to do the follow-up. What kind of follow-up? 
a very good surgery done but the child cannot speak he cannot go to a normal school for the mother the surgery is not enough there is something which is missing what is it who will address that for a cardiologist you can say well go to the pediatrician pediatrician will say go to a developmental pediatrician so all this is. i would uh, put uh, two very important articles one is by dr krishn kumar where he writes about how to set up a cardiology unit cardiology unit when i say a pediatric cardiology pediatric cardiothoracic pediatric itu and a follow up how to set up in a resource poor countries and there is a very another good article in what are the checklist which should be done from brazil i will not go into the details but i like this article again from a professor at aims dr ramakrishnan who says that even for a country like usa you have one cardiologist per 29000 or uh, 30000 roughly whereas in india it would be one per 45 lakhs now this is also a very skewed version so as you move towards the east the number of cardiothoracic surgeons and etc will be so there are more in the south as compared to. and then there are more cardiologist than cardiothoracic surgeons and you understand that earlier that i mean there is a very there is a requirement of a team only cardiologist cannot do you only cardiothoracic surgeon cannot do you to have a required this so in this article he does describe that the cost is less here i have some problem are we trying to paint india that we have a cheap way of doing surgeries or are we trying to say that of the number of children who die every day who could have survived how many did we lose so i think the battle is not here because our income doesn't match with the american incomes etc so i think we don't want otherwise what will happen we will become a medical tourism people from other countries will come and get it done and the children here will so i have slightly from a public health point of view a concern to advertise that we can get surgeries done here at lower cost but there is a very good example and today evening i have a very positive news when you study the example of kerala hidem and i would think that this was the first state which took up pediatric cardiology as a public health issue i think never before it has addressed and i remember when this was brought up in the ministry people said diarrhea pneumonia to theek nahi hota you are talking of pediatric cardiology so this was the usual comment which you hear as if it is a very elitist thing and i still remember i wrote that where stomachs go without food the sky over the land does go with satellites then why is india having satellites if you can have satellites you can also have cardiothoracic surgeons you can spend that money uh it also talked about that paper talked about self reliance and research and lot of new things which are coming up it should come up how much we are using it now coming from in 2012 when i was called to government of india they said please have a child health program only for school health now as a professor and head of neonatology i said problem to uske pehle so if you are not addressing the newborns you just cannot address the school health and if you are addressing newborns comprehensively then you also have to deal with heart disease so the most challenging portion was that the same child who has a heart disease may also have a cataract may also have a hearing problem may also have a motor problem how to deal in a setup in a institution at one go so my first challenge was write a book so that the instruments are there with the pediatrician with the pediatric cardiologist so this came book first came up equipment and infrastructure in which we added at least ecg and eco should become a part given to every district of this country a pediatric eco machine and a pediatric ecg to every district no district should be debarred from this even the specifications etc and the training was given and even a format and i must remember professor juneja who had made this format for me he was very very positive person 
And I don't think this country will be ever able to forget him. His contribution towards community health pediatrics was huge as commitment I have seen. So this format was developed by him. And of course, now the first challenge is how to get a proper ECG done. If you talk to the industry, they are not interested in newborn. They have enough business with adults. So even this issue where, how in a very small child you can put so many leads, how that weight it should not, so that also becomes an issue of the public health and then what information it is coming. So recently under RBSK, we developed some of the techniques. Now here comes a question to all people who think that cardiology has got nothing to do with public health. Every country is judged by IMR. I'll tell you, the year 1997, Kerala's IMR was 12. And from 1997 to 2017, almost two decades, it was vacillating between 10 and 12. And Dr. Krishna Kumar is sitting here. He would be talking, he can talk very extensively how challenging it was that Kerala, which was the best state with best IMR, its IMR was not decreased. Perhaps we were doing the same things which other states were doing. And he stood up and said, if we don't address the problem of pediatric cardiology and critical congenital heart disease, the IMR will not come down. So when in 2017, a meeting was done and on the left side, it's a very documented meeting in which the additional chief secretary, and you can find if you go to the website of Kerala government, this minutes is there. What I'm just trying to say to the people, how a change can be brought in. So this meeting was at, I was there, Dr. Krishna Kumar was there, other people were also there, the planning pe commission people were also there. This is just the dat data to show from 1971 to 2013 and then 2017. What was the most important statements which were made? The most important statement which were made that A, if you don't address congenital heart disease, your IMR will not come down. So if a politician wants, if a government wants to bring down the congenital heart disease IMR, you have to address this problem or don't discuss IM or then be happy with 12. So this is something which is very much linked to it. Secondly, that if you are screening for heart disease in a public health approach, then should we have another conference for screening for hearing? Should we have another conference for screening for vision? Should we have another conference for screening for cognition? Or all this could be brought in that as soon as any child is born, within first five minutes, we are able to screen. This was not even properly done in a Western world. So if you go to the, I will just skip all this. These were, these were the people and their suggestions. So the first thing was, if you have to understand the burden of congenital heart disease, a child is dying, you do not even know. How will you understand the burden? So screening has to be done actively. When should it screen? Who should screen? And where should it be referred? So this came under the screen. Now in screening, there's a very, if you say newborn screening, people only collect blood. So in the RBSK, we said, no. Let not the Western literature, right? We simplified it. First is no money is required. Visible birth defect. You see the child from head to toe. We developed a chart. You can pick up all congenital heart disease, a congenital problems looking at a child. If it is cyanotic, you pick it up. Second is, if you have slightly more money, have few instruments, one for vision, one for hearing, one for heart. So you require a pulse oximeter, you require an ophthalmoscope, you require a beta. So this was also brought and today you'll be happy that entire Kerala, every child, even a tribal child is born this moment, is, has got tested, not by doctors, but by the nurses. No child is left without getting screened. Then, metabolic. 
Now, Kerala started the metabolic and here I objected to them. You have no business to do metabolic if you are not doing functional defects and visible birth defects. Chromosomal and finally the neurological for those children who are admitted. With this screening, we found the instrument. Now came a problem. WHO said, screen the newborn, forget that data. Some congenital heart diseases will not be present at birth, will come later. So in RBSK, we said, it is a continuous screening program. It is not at one. So first screening can be done at the place of birth. And Asha worker can do it. A, a, a Anganwadi. And then we formed a team. We said specialists must focus on treating. Screening should be done by a generalist. We found Ayush doctors. We could train them to screen. We could train the nurses to screen. So you don't require the time spent by a cardiac surgeon in screening, that can be done by someone else. So this was the uniqueness, simplified screening, remove the medical jargon, make it pictorial, and don't screen for one disease. Someone wants to only screen for clubfoot. So they have a group of NGO called clubfoot. We said everything should be screened in one. Now with this, even let me tell you, even in medical colleges, the proper screening is not done. At least it is not documented, it is missed. So we have, we developed books, how to screen for each of them. This was a pictorial chart, which has put in every labor room. Even the eye should be screened. If a child has a poor vision with heart, you have treated the heart costing 5 lakhs rupees. What about the vision? For the child, every organ, the heart beats, the eye, we have a vision, we hear because of the brain. So I must say that henceforth, we should start thinking about cognition because that is what represents us as a homo sapien. So all these instruments were there. I'll just show you, this is, we started at Ames Jodhpur, learning from Kerala. So every child now, this can be done, Not I don't require any technician, a nurse can do it whole vision chart. Before that, a neonatology would say, I will not see the, but this, now these are some of the very good photographs. We have developed a device by which we can see the red reflex as soon as the child is born. Every child gets a photograph of his red reflex, of his vision, of his hearing, of his heart. We are also thinking whether it will, so this come. Only thing I'm trying to say is integrated model. Okay, and then of course the clinics cannot be forgotten. A few questionnaires, and with these questionnaires, you allow even a nurse to see and make it a stepwise approach. This is what was available. There's a software. You can even look. This child was found at yesterday with congenital heart disease. Where did it go? Who treated it? Did it die? What came in the follow up? In the follow up, was the IQ less? A successful operation done, but the child did not achieve his genetic potential. For the mother, it is it doesn't matter the topmost surgeon has operated. For the mother, the child is everything. So I think we have to change our view from public health. We see the child as a whole and not as a part, even. So appropriate referral and transport, huge data is coming from screening. And by the way, the commonest defect which has come out for last 12 years when India started its screening is congenital heart disease. So whether we like it or not, this is the data which is coming. We require a proper OT diagram. This was done. Dr. Krishna Kumar, he took me to Aligarh Muslim University. The student was interested. So through RBSK, we could develop a pediatric cardiology cath lab. Period. And so it started. What I mean to say is that enabling mechanism has to be there from the government. But from this hall, I have also a request that the PCSI should do some twinning effect that all these new places which are coming, faculties can go, whether you are from private or government. You also come stare at the designing stage. Once the OT is formed and you say, Ye to galat hai, that's not would be. Perhaps a good idea would be also that you are involved and you own it, you mentor it. So this is all 
just to tell you all cardiology units must have a early intervention unit every child with a heart problem both prior and later on must and these are some of the things which has been developed across the country nowhere in the world you will get this concept of early intervention where there is an optometrist audiologist psychologist everything that means for just the way the mother sees the child in completeness the system also must see it in completeness even a dentist has to be there people forget that dental has got huge relation with heart so a pediatric dental chair where the child should not get uh, should not get be afraid you will be this is in a government hospital in noida the way it was designed every child loves to sit on the chair and get his teeth tested so lastly manipur is close to calcutta and this is coming up at regional institute of manipur and uh, i think this is the time we should hold their hand they have developed three ots one ot only up to one year second ot from one year to 12 years and third ot beyond 12 years because they didn't have even adult they have two cath labs now they have an pediatric icu so i think this investment is not a investment it is a in, it it you should not see it as expenditure it is a investment for the future so with these words i would again say when you have come to the edge of all the light you have and step into the darkness of the unknown believe that only one thing will happen to you either you will find something solid to stand on or you will be taught how to fly thank you ladies